Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about antioxidants and breast cancer. What are antioxidants? What is their role in breast cancer prevention? And what about the risk of recurrence after breast cancer and its treatment from antioxidants? So antioxidants are things that sort of sweep up what are called free radicals. And cancer cells produce a lot of free radicals through a process called oxidative stress. So the thought is that antioxidants come in and mop up those free radicals so that the normal cellular uh, mechanism and machinery can't get messed up and turn into cancer cells. Antioxidants are present in a lot of our foods and some people also take antioxidant supplements, and I'll comment specifically on those in just a minute. Sources of antioxidants in the diet are rich uh, fatty foods, fatty fish, I mean, not fatty foods, don't eat fatty foods, fatty fish like salmon and tuna and uh, swordfish. They have antioxidants in them. So do dark colored vegetables and fruits like berries, so blueberries and strawberries, raspberries, uh, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, uh, Brussels sprouts, legumes, and whole grains have um, antioxidants in them as well. And it appears that people who have diets that are high in antioxidant-containing foods may have a lower risk of breast cancer. One of the problems with these studies is that we get information on what people eat from the way they record what they eat, which they know what foods they have, but they don't always get the accurate amounts or quantities or frequency. And the other things is that the other thing is that people who have diets rich in antioxidants also have diets that are otherwise very healthy as well. So they tend to have access to whole grains and they tend to have access to high quality produce as well as other things that confer a decrease in the risk of cancer as well. So healthier places to play and to exercise. There's so many other things that are associated with the quality of our diet that aren't necessarily controlled for in the studies of diet and breast cancer. In terms of antioxidant supplements, in general, it's recommended that people get their supplements from food sources and not from things that have been highly processed and put into capsules and sold in the drugstore. There are a lot of people who will take advantage of people who want to be healthy and they'll sell and package these up for you. And a lot of times they don't even contain what they say they contain on the bottle and they haven't been tested for quality. And in people getting chemotherapy, some chemotherapy and radiation therapy, antioxidants may actually protect the cancer cells from treatment. So in a large study that was done looking at people's diet in the same way that I told you, they looked at people who were taking supplements of antioxidants and the people who were taking supplements had a higher risk of recurrence after chemotherapy and radiation therapy. So in general, uh, it's recommended that people not take supplemental antioxidants when they're undergoing radiation therapy or chemotherapy, although certainly talk with your medical team or a registered dietitian about this topic. In terms of the risk of recurrence, so let's say somebody's all done with their treatment and they want to re eat really healthy, it looks as though there is a protective effect with diets that are rich in antioxidants. In lab studies, supplementing animals with antioxidants may also decrease the proliferation or growth and development of cancer cells. In the absence of real data on safety, however, most experts advise people to get their supplements or their antioxidants not as tablets and capsules and shakes, but rather in food the way it was they sort of naturally occur. I hope this is helpful. We do get a lot of questions about antioxidants. Drop a comment or a question below. It's um, something we always love to see is you contributing to the Yerba community. We try to get back to you with, within one to two weeks. Please be kind. Uh, we are real people. Uh, thanks so much for watching.